The Kuwait National Development Plan sets the nation's long-term development priorities. It's organized around seven pillars or areas of focus for investment and improvement. Healthcare. Improve service quality in the public healthcare system and develop national capabilities at a reasonable cost. The owner, Jahar Road Development Project, is the Ministry of Public Works. The project is located in the western region of Kuwait, which extends from Jahar Gate to the United Nations roundabout in Garnata. The value of contract is 264 million Kuwaiti dinars. The objective of Jahra Road Development Project is to upgrade the road to the standard of highways according to the latest standards applied globally. The project was commenced on the 13th of September 2010. Total of 17.7 kilometers of mainline viaduct, including 7.3 kilometers of mainline Jahra Road, 2.4 kilometer link roads, and 8 kilometers of ramps, and 6.2 kilometers of depressed road. Setting up a fully utilized precast yard located in the Doha area, occupying a total surface area of 150,000 square meters, for the purpose of fabricating a total of 8,395 concrete precast pre stressed bridge segments. The project consists of 17.7 kilometers of viaduct and aims to appease and accommodate the current traffic volumes. The project includes seven intersections. The project is implemented on five concurrent phases Phase 1, Jahrgate to Airport Road, which is completed at 100%. Phase 2, United Nations Roundabout to Hospital Road, Al Sabah Medical District, which is completed at 100%. Phase 3, Hospital Road to Al Ghazali Road, which is completed at 97%. Phase 4, Ghazali Road to Airport Road, is completed 89%. Phase 5, Al Ghazali Road Interchange, completed 35%. A Jahra development project is the upgrade of existing at-grade Jahra Road located in the dynamic industrial area of Shuwaif. Let's look at the top social media highlights and the reviews regarding Jahra Road. From new Kuwait government account, the Jahra Road project which will end in this year. The project serves many vital areas including Kuwait University and Applied Shuwaif Port, Al Sabah Medical Area, Military College, Shuwaikh industrial and residential areas. And from Mishri Kuwaiti account, image of the recently United Nations bridge and a minor part of the Jahra Road project established by the government of Kuwait. For more information or details regarding Jahra Road, please visit the website of Jahra Road. When the coronavirus COVID-19 first showed up, the state of Kuwait succeeded in dealing with it, maintaining the safety of citizens and residents. The government took all the precautionary and preventive measures to ensure the return to normal life. We are following all the instructions that have been published by the ministry, uh, sanitizing and cleaning all the mall building and all service uh, environment. The requirements included partial reopening of shopping centers, malls, markets and shops with a maximum of 30% of the total capacity of visitors to shopping centers. We are providing a disposal, uh, one time uh, use the carpet in the prayer rooms and the cleaning the prayer rooms in regular pieces. We provide a sufficient quantities of all protection tools and products. Uh, such as gloves, masks, uh, sanitizers at mall entrance and corridors. We are making sure that uh, our employees and uh, mall staff are fully aware of the health and safety instructions and they are trained to deal with any emergency cases as we are provide a special room for any suspected cases uh, with COVID-19. The health authorities enforce several instructions including closing all entertainment venues, setting up medical examination, 
and the sterilization units at their entrances to measure the temperature throughout the work period, preventing those who temperature exceeding 37.5 from entering. All seats and the places to sit down in the corridors are removed. West Abdullah Lambar project is located 18 kilometers from Jahra and Kuwait City. West Abdullah Lambarak project area is 902 hectares. The number of targeted units in the project is 5,201 units and the unit space is 400 square meters. The project consists of 26 schools, 24 masjids, two governmental complexes, 10 shops, two gas branches, three central markets, two fire extinguishing centers, two health cares, and three police stations. Electric current of the project will gradually enter service starting from the first quarter of 2019. The Public Authority for Housing Welfare received the total project vouchers in the same city with a total of 5,201. The main power transformers contract is currently under implementation with 16 million and 150,000 Kuwaiti dinars in addition to another contract covering six stations worth 18 million Kuwaiti dinars. The Public Authority for Housing Welfare is in the process of determining the schedule of the project of the completion of public buildings of suburb and the project of the city of West Abdullah Limbarak, where the tender was awarded to the Kuwaiti company Al Hamra with a contractual value of 28 million and 466,000 Kuwaiti dinars. The Public Authority for Housing Welfare is currently working on the establishment and completion of 99 government buildings in the west of Abdullah Limbarak after the completion of the signing of all contracts for the public buildings and entry into the implementation phase through four contracts with a period of implementation with up to 30 months. Work on the project was started on the 25th of November 2015 during a period of up to 730 days and ended on the 23rd of November 2017. The annual plan 2017-2018 is scheduled to continue 164 projects that will contribute more than 50 billion in revenue. Now we will take you on a social media tour regarding West Abdullah Limbarak project. From Gharb Abdullah Limbarak account, power stations with permission will be ready to deliver the power supply in the summer of 2019. Photos of some of the various parts of the building are under construction during a fall. And in the end, from new Kuwait government, future starts with you. With the efforts made by all government institutions and the private sector and with the cooperation of citizens and residents, Kuwait started the second stage of the return to normalcy in light of the COVID-19 pandemic. Among the most important of the second stage is the reopening of the complexes with the preventive measures. Uh, we have took uh, a lot of uh, measurement and we have applied a lot of uh, uh, safety and health uh, uh, measurements uh, uh, and applied them on our tenants and our uh, visitors. Uh, we have uh, sanitized the, the whole shopping centers and the business tower. We have made sure that we uh, install the uh, thermal cameras that uh, measure the visitors' uh, temperatures. Uh, and we uh, apply the social distancing by enforcing uh, the uh, walking baths and how the, uh, the walking flow. Uh, we have also installed uh, isolation room for in case uh, uh, any cases that shows uh, within uh, our premises. And all of these uh, uh, procedures uh, have been done uh, in cooperation with the health uh, ministry uh, and all the official institutions in the uh, Kuwaiti government.
measures established by the administration of Al Hamra Mall with recommendation from the Ministry of Health to ensure the safety and security for citizens and residents.